Sup guys, welcome to this new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a streetwear design precisely like this one here. I'm gonna use this image here, which I took myself when I went to Stravanger, Norway. By the way, it's a beautiful place. And it's a David by Michelangelo covered in graffiti. It's just a 2D graffiti, but I really liked it. I'm not gonna sell this design to respect the artist who drew it in the first place. I chose it since I created previously other designs with Michelangelo like this one here. And I just really like the concept of just modifying a really beautiful artwork. And since even I live in Italy, I live in Venice, I just feel obligated. Enough talking, we can just jump straight into photoshop first of all let's drag and drop the image of david i try to take the most neutral perspective possible afterwards i traced and masked this design by hand to have the best possible result now that i'm thinking about it it's a straightforward and easy design to create since the main element in this design is the actual david by michelangelo and uh, it just speaks for itself even the colors i really like everything about it in fact uh, i'm not gonna change in the saturation the colors i will leave them as they are since i think they're beautiful like this To cut out the graffiti it took me more or less 5 minutes, which is not that bad considering the importance of this element in the whole design. Then I smoothed everything up and cut out unnecessary parts. Now that we have it, I opened my graffiti letters from the previous video. Find the link in the description, you should go watch it since it's a banger and uh, got the letters that I needed, which were M, I, N, D, so MIND, which is part of my brand name. Then I modeled them to fit the layout of the David, so basically I wanted to follow like a college design, so like a curved uh, graphic, here's a photo of reference, I wanted to follow that path there, and I decided to go with a curved style that went around the sculpture. Don't worry about the color of the text since I will change it into black later. Then I started working on the bottom part of my design, which informed the customer about the kind of design and the clothing brand he or she was wearing. So basically we can say that it was like an information sheet of a painting uh, which includes all the essential info. So it's just a subtext which helps the customer just see what's up with this painting, see what are the different options. I will add the tagline of my brand with the name of this piece, so David 3.0 because of the other videos that I made with it because the other video was 2.0 so this one needed to be 3.0 and the name of the places where this design was made because my brand is all about creating design using elements from all around the world and so I will add Stravanger, Norway, so the place where I took the photo from and Venice since is where my studio is based and even when I designed this piece and to make it more complete uh, I will add some graffiti signs on the back of the sculpture to make it seem as if the graffiti in the Michelangelo sculpture goes out of that sculpture and goes inside and moves around even on the garment so i want to create like a, a flat design rather than like separating the graffiti part with the garment i want to blend everything in finally i'm adding even a globe icon to match my brand name at the bottom to make even the graphic more complex now it's time to add it to a mock-up by the way, the front design will be done with actual paint when I print the design on a garment, so I didn't create any mock-up about it here in Photoshop. So for now, you can just enjoy this final result here. Big videos are coming up in the following weeks, so you better subscribe. I'm just telling you. That's pretty much it. I'll catch you in the next one. Leave a like. Bye-bye.